I'm taking off again. President's tense. Big white house. Big white fence. The industry fake. I can't get involved. These niggas capping. Haven't even seen the shit that I saw. Sup? This story happened about three years ago. Like, when I was 16, I had my first boyfriend, Ben, who just so happened to be my next door neighbor. Uh -huh. For the first few months of dating, we were going fine. Up until I had dinner at Ben's house one evening, his dad, Graham, gave me the creeps. Oh, God damn. Oh, God. I was not expecting him to look like that. Jesus, bro. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Hey, how many, how many of you all are in a relationship like right now? And you're, you can't stand or you don't like your partner's, like, mom, dad, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, cousin. Like, you, like you can't stand them or, like, they're as sus as this motherfucker right here is. From the first moment I ever met him, he was creepy to me. He shook my hand tightly and had a big grin on his face. Don't, his, don't touch me. His big bulging eyes. Jesus, is he high? After dinner, I swear Graham never took his eyes off of me at all. Sus. Every now and then, I would glance over to see if he was still staring at me, and of course he was. Jesus, right? From then on, I spent more time around Ben's house. We would watch movies in his room, play video games, and just study homework. Whenever I was at Ben's house, his dad would always be lingering around. Jesus. Like he would always burst into the bedroom without knocking. Oh, no. Like, when most of the time, when I'm reacting to these horror videos, I put myself in that situation. So, when old dude touched girl's shoulder on her left side, I was like, I automatically was like, get, get off me. Don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Jesus, bro. God. He might, he might, he definitely the top, like, what's his name? Well, I don't know his name, but like, Ben's dad, him. He definitely like the top, like the top sus motherfuckers, like top 10. Get off me, bro. <laughs> you know. Things like, how's everything? Or I thought I heard you calling me. What? Basically an excuse to come in. It's like he wanted to catch us doing something, if you know what I mean. Jesus. And whenever I would go to the bathroom, of course, he would try and come in, even though the door was locked. Sus! He would knock and say, oh, I didn't realize someone was in the bathroom. Oh. This creepy stuff went on for a while. Yeah. Maybe right. about two months, but there was one incident that really scared me. Ben asked if I can go to the basement and grab a couple of pops. I went down there and looked around in the fridge to see what drinks they had. Then I heard the door close. It was the basement door. And then his dad came walking down the steps. He asked me what I was doing down there, and I told him I was just grabbing some pop for myself and Ben. I smiled and walked past him and headed up the stairs. I tried to open the basement door, but it was locked. His dad locked it behind him. I turned around and said, uh, sir, could you help? The door is stuck. Yeah, stuck my donkey. Stuck my donkey. I, I would have... So he said... The narrator said, I turned around, it was like the door stuck. Ben, I would have turned around and I would have turned down, I would have turned around and said, All right, so what's up? What's good, player? Like, what's up with you? Like, you know, I I'm ready to throw hands right now. Obviously, I I can't go nowhere. Obviously, obviously I can't haul donkey right now, right? So it's just me and you. What's up? Like, I'm ready to throw hands. What's up with you, bro? Like, what's up, bro? I'm gonna go straight for your dick and your balls. 
Say something. And your ankles and your kneecaps. What's up with you, bro? Wow. He didn't reply. I went back downstairs and I saw his dad with his top off rolling a can of Sprite on his body saying, it's a hot day, isn't it? My buddy. I was extremely uncomfortable. And I asked once more, could you open the door because it seemed to be stuck? I didn't say lock because I didn't want him to know I was uncomfortable. He said to me, here's the key and place it on the small table next to him. Nah, throw it. And then he said, come and get it. Yeah, all right. While smiling with his tongue rubbing against his teeth, I let out a nervous, awkward laugh as I thought he was joking. He wasn't. I crouched down to grab the key, but just as I did, I could feel his face near mine, and he was smelling my hair. Oh! I could hear him really close breathing in through his nose. As soon as I got the key, I sped, walked up the stairs to open the basement door. I just left at that point, and I went home and cried in my bedroom. I never told anyone this story, and I broke up with Ben shortly after this incident. Same day I would have. We lived there for two more years after that, until we moved away. Every now and then, I would see his dad in his garden or something, and he would always give me that same creepy smile like he did in the basement. If I was the girl, I would have I ran out that house but during my running i would have said cluck all of this cluck you ben right and everything about you and your family and your friends and your co-workers right all that and i would have said like this relationship is done over finito finished jesus don't contact don't contact me don't hit me up in the dms don't do nothing it's, we're done here, bro. Like, I'm so dead. Dead donkey. I don't know if that makes sense, but, you know. Um, ooh, excuse me. I farted. My condolences. Whew, God, no, that's thing. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, like, that's ridiculous. And you know what's crazy? This is relatable. Like, there's a there's a lot of a lot of people and there's probably a lot of you all that's in a relationship right now and your partners you know one of your partners uh family members is kind of like acting hella sus around you every time you're near the mom dad brother sister cousin whatever right every time you're near that family your partner's uh family member they always act hella sus they always act weird they always act you know different but in a weird like creepy type mm. if y'all can relate to that let me know that in the comment section below but um i have yet to relate to that and if i do best believe relationship is done either Either relationship is done, or like my partner has two options. Either you you stay with them, right, with your sus family, or you stay with me and lose all contact whatsoever. You gotta pick, you gotta pick right now in the next six seconds. Keep it cool, keep it classy, and I love you, stay happy, my family.